Okay. All right, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Quincy Youth Arena. This is Bill Graney for Quincy Access TV as we're going to bring you the North Quincy High, Quincy High hockey game. We're going to start with the national anthem sung by the Horizon Choir from Quincy High School. Okay, we're having a little bit of a technical difficulty with the system here in the arena. We're going to try it one time. This is uh, Okay, a great job by the Horizon Choir of Quincy High School uh, who opened up this uh, evening's festivities. This is the second game between North Quincy High and Quincy High this year. Well, we're very fortunate that both teams are going to play three times this year. This is the second game. There will be another one. Quincy is the home team tonight. North, North Quincy is the guest. Uh, I'm looking for a terrific game. Uh, North Quincy got off to a little bit of a, snow, a slow start. They uh, lost the first time out against Quincy. They've only lost once, once since. They're currently now 4-2-2 two two overall, 3-0-1 oh in the league, and tie for first place with Pembroke. Quincy High has uh, struggled a little bit lately uh, since that opening day win over North, and they're currently 2-4-1, one, 1-3 and and in the league. And uh, But I'm still looking for a great game, as always, when both high schools in the city of Quincy get together. Okay, North uh, Quincy High is opening up with Keith Lowe, Mark Gilbody, and Derek, and Derek Murphy for their front line. Rodriguez, Gilmore, and Whitehouse are out there for the Raiders. The draw controlled by the Raiders, thrown deep in the right-hand corner, where we got a little bit of a scrum along the boards, fighting for the puck, controlled by North. And it was a quick shot by Joe Valpondo right on net. And Jeff Giordani, the starting goaltender for the Quincy High Presidents, very quickly made the save and kicked it aside. Okay, North pinching and struggling. They're forced checking very hard, and they're keeping Quincy pinned in their own end, starting out. Uh, Melania and Val Pondo are on, are on defense, opening it up for North, for, for North. But here's a break by Quincy. Quincy coming in, good shot. Another shot by Gilbody goes just over Brundage's shoulder and just over the far right post. If that had been a little bit more on the money, I don't think Brundage would have been able to grab that. But here comes Gilmore. Gilmore skating into the middle, shoots, fires. Great blocker save by Giordani. Another quick out save, and we have a whistle. And we've got a face-off outside. I think it may have been a hand pass as the ref is calling, calling for a face-off just outside the Quincy zone. Both lines change up now. Scott Richardson, Brendan Glenn, and Paul Redden out there for the Red Raiders. Sean Darling, Seamus McKenna, and Zach McCall out there for the Presidents. All right, we got another whistle, and we got a high stick touching the stick above your head in the faceoff. Now it's going to come down to the North Quincy end. We're in the opening few minutes. Opening minute of the game, just a feeling out process as both teams just getting their legs going, just getting a little loose. Draw controlled by Quincy. Kept in by McCall. McCall gets it, taken away by Bobby Fontana. Fontana throws it up the wing boards, gets it ahead to Scott Richardson. Richardson dumps it in, but it's controlled by... It's controlled by Joe Finn, who the sophomore 
defenseman for the Quincy High Presidents, considered one of the premier defense, defensive plays in the Patriot League by uh, his own coach and all the other coaches that I've spoken to in the Patriot League. Okay, here comes the Presidents bringing it down, trying to get around uh, Ryan Gorman, but Gorman makes a nice play, puck picked up by the Raiders, the Raiders throw it off, picked back up by the Presidents, Presidents dump it back in, Joe Valpondo picks it up behind the net, Pre Presidents making a change, get, get it out, Raiders knocking in the center ice where it's thrown back in by Pat Young, Pat Young throws it in, puck controlled now by TJ Higgins as we got the Pat Conley, Matt Troy, TJ Higgins line out there right now for the Raiders. Okay, Quincy controls the puck but it's broken up by Mike Nelson, Mike Nelson loses it, thrown into center ice where it's dropped back in, tucked away, pushed away by Kevin Chinette. Chinette gets it up the wing boards. He was looking for Matt Rodriguez, couldn't make connection. Finn grabs it, throws it back down behind Brundage who was in the net for North Quincy High. Both goaltenders have been tested with one shot as we've played almost three minutes here in the first period. As I said, mostly a, a feeling out feeling out period, uh, the opening period generally in an ice hockey game. Okay, draw control by the Raiders. Thrown way down by Kevin Chinette, but they wave the ice and off, puck picked up. Finn has it, Finn's bringing it out, looks to get it up along the boards, gets it up the boards. Derek Murphy. Murphy throws it into the North Quincy and the North Quincy Red Raiders are all banged up over on the on the far side boards. Nobody covering over here in the right wing. It's thrown back in, picked up by Finn. Finn throws it over to his partner on defense. Pat Young. Young drops it in on Berridge. President's making another line change. Knocked back in, but here it is. It's picked up by Matt Rodriguez, he throws it in behind the net. Giordani kicks it off to the side. That was uh, Trevor Richardson, I'm sorry. Pat McLean, Evan McLean, Brian McLean tried to pick it up, lost control, and the president's brought it back down. We got a whistle now, and it looks like we got our first penalty of the game coming up. Okay, here's the first penalty of the game. And it's going to be called against Trevor Richardson at 10.56 of the first period. So the Presidents will be going on the power play. On the power play for the Presidents. Zach McCall's out there with Scott Valenti. Puck gets thrown up into, up here into the stands. And we're going to have a face-off just outside the zone. Coach Silva send, Sylvia sending out a new line. It looks like it's his big guns. Looks like Kevin Keith, Mark Gilbody, and Derek, and Derek Murphy. Scott Valentini controls the puck. A very offensive-minded defenseman throws it down. But Quincy very quick, one of the wings very quick to pick up Valentini's spot. Valentini playing with the puck behind the net. Tries to ram it home, throws it out in front, loses it to Gilmore. Gilmore sends it down the length of the ice where it's controlled by Giordani. And Pat Young picks it up, takes it behind the net. Here comes Young. He's skating through center ice. Gets the pass off to Derek Murphy. Murphy fires it on net. Brundage picks it up and throws it up into the net off his pad save. Quincy not mounting too much of an attack here yet on the first power play but there is still 42 seconds left in the left on the power play so they have a lot of time Seamus McKenna Sean Dowling and Zach McCall are out there now on the power play with Finn and Tommy O'Brien out there on defense Ryan throws it back in, but it's picked up by the Raiders. The Raiders throw it the length of the ice. Hustling down the forecheck is number four, Brendan Glennon. 
but it's controlled by Finn. Finn throws it up the boards to McCall. McCall gets it out over here to Sean Darling. Sean Darling skating and tries to make a move, dumps it off to Seamus McKenna. Shot goes wide and is thrown in behind, behind Brundage. Play getting a little, little pushy along the boards, but the, both, both teams skate away. Thrown in front by Seamus McKenna, but nobody was there. Now picked back up by Seamus. Seamus got it in the corner, gets it out to Finn. Finn from the point, nice block. Great block by number 11. For the president, but the, we have some type of a whistle. I'm not quite sure as far, but the, it's gonna be in, draw's gonna be in the zone. The power play is over, so North did an effective job killing off the penalty. Nelson McLean and Richardson out there now. Shot in, thrown in on Brundage. Brundage kicks it away, but the net was moved off. Looks like we got another penalty coming up for a high stick. So here we go, now it'll be the North Quincy Red Raiders going on. On the power play as we got penalty to TJ Higgins, number 14, who's going off for a high stick. So the Raiders will now be in control for a minute 30. Gilmore. Gilmore Whitehouse and Scott Richardson out there on the power play with Valpondo and Matt Rodriguez on the point. So we got four forwards and one defenseman on the North Quincy High power play. They've thrown it in twice. They haven't got much off. Quincy's controlling the puck now, throws it up the boards, or is picked up by, Gil by Mark Gilbody. He threw it up the length, but it went into the bench, so we're gonna have a face-off just a little bit above the circle. Now we're going to call it the circle just to the left of goaltender Jeff Giordani. Giordani, a senior goaltender, does a nice job. Been in the nets now a couple of years for the Raiders, uh, for the Presidents rather. Very aggressive goaltender. Very quick, very agile. Comes to play every night. Puck still controlled by the Raiders. Trying to get it out to the point to Valpano, but they haven't been successful. Tried to throw it into Gilmore, just a little bit shot, but there's a pass to Rodriguez, picked back up by Gilmore. And we got another penalty coming up. And we got another Quincy High player going out, so the North Quincy Red Raiders are gonna have a five on three for 32 seconds. This penalty coming at 18.06 of the first period. And we got Tommy O'Brien going in. Looks like the call was for interference. So the Raiders can be very aggressive here as they get a 5-3 advantage. Let's see if they control the puck. Here comes Rodriguez going in, fires it in on Giordani. Giordani holds on, gets the draw. Very smart move by the goaltender, Jeff Giordani, as he controlled that puck, held on to it, forces a draw, lets his team get set. 25 seconds left on the man advantage. Puck control by the Raiders. They throw it in. Giordani holds. Giordani makes a nice save again as Valpondo put it right in on him, but Giordani was up to the task. Very strong power play here for the Raiders. But Giordani has answered them in every turn, and now it's dumped the length of the ice by Scott Valentini. And now it's just a one-man advantage for 58 seconds. Okay, puck controlled by Matt Rodriguez. He's bringing it along the left wing boards, throws it in the back. Looking for Scott Richardson to pick it up. Richardson's got it over in the corner, tries to get it back to Valpondo, but he can't. Quincy High skates it out. Valentini stole the pass, skated it out, dumped it down in the zone, which will give the presidents a chance, a, a chance to change up. We got Finn and Pat Young out there with Scott McCall and Kevin Keith. Puck still controlled by the Raiders as they are on the penalty, are on the power play, but Quincy's doing a nice job. This will be a big emotional lift for the Quincy High presidents 
if they're successful in killing off this five on three, they killed off a five on three for 35 seconds. And it looks like, no, but here's a break by Gilmore, skating in all alone, fires, save Giordani as Brandon Gilmore had broken all alone, but Giordani was up to the task, made a nice save, and there he dives on the puck. A very good power play by the Raiders, but Quincy was determined, the presidents were determined, Giordani was determined, he held in there strong, made five or six critical saves. So both teams have now withstood a little bit of a flurry on power plays for each one, but both teams come up empty. But I gotta give Quincy High a lot of credit. They killed off a five on three. Okay, draw control by Quincy. Pat Young has the puck behind the net. Still controlling it, being picked up by the Raiders. Now it's picked up. Picked up by Seamus McKenna. McKenna brings it down, gets it in front. Pucks loose in front. Now here comes the Raiders, three on two. As they break out, Graham Verhal, Graham Verhal and Cameron are out there now. This is a, uh, a young line that I was talking to, talking to the North Quincy coach before the game. He was gonna try to get him some ice time and he's got him out there right now. after he's got to give his, his number one line a little bit of a break, let them catch their win. Okay, thrown back down deep into the Quincy end. Puck now picked up by, by Jimmy Finn. Jimmy Finn throws it right out in the middle to Mark Gilbody. Back to Gilbody, Gilbody fires, hit somebody, came in on Brundage, but he was up to the task. Gilbody, Derek Murphy, Derek Murphy, a sophomore, skating on the on this line with Gilbody and Kevin Keith has been uh, doing yeoman duty for for a sophomore here for the Presidents. Uh, a nice find and developing very well for the Quincy High Presidents. All right, we're changing up. North's changing up. They're sending out Gilmore, Whitehouse, and Rodriguez. Okay, 4, 4.57 left here in the first period. It's been a very wide open first period as so far, North Quincy has had 11 shots on net and the Presidents have seven, but we got an icing, so the draw's gonna be coming back here into the North Quincy end. Gilmore, Brandon Whitehouse, and Matt Rodriguez out there for the Raiders. Against Sean Dowling, Seamus McKenna, no, Seamus McKenna, and Zach McCall. Okay, here's the draw. Draw controlled by the presidents. We got a hand pass, and that's gonna bring the draw right outside, outside the North Quincy zone along the arena side of the uh, the stand side of the arena okay Gilmore Rodriguez and Whitehouse back out there Gilbody Derek Murphy and, and Kevin Keith back out there for the president as it appears that both coaches are trying to play their top lines against each other here in the first period. We'll see what develops. No score yet. Both teams have had a, a power play. Four and a half minutes left here in the period. Oh, we got another penalty coming up. Uh, I didn't see it. Quincy High was called for it. Uh, number 13, Mark Gilbody for interference. So the Red Raiders are gonna go on the power play again. Draw control by Quincy. Dumped down into the zone by Pat Young. Okay, here comes Gilmore bringing it out. He's going into center ice. Rodriguez and Whitehouse spin around. Gilmore trying to bring it into the corner. Gets it over to Rodriguez. Pick, Rodriguez throws it in the back where it's picked up by Valentini. Valentini throws along, but it's puck stolen by Rodriguez. Rodriguez is on the point. Gets it over to Gilmore. Gilmore looking for Valpondo. Back over to Rodriguez, back over to Valpondo. Valpondo throws it in. Kicked over into the corner by Giordani as 
He's played an outstanding first period. Puck now controlled again by Matt Rodriguez. He throws it in, and Giadani is up to the task. Giadani getting a lot more work than Brundage so far here in the first period. As we have three minutes and 42 seconds left, 42 seconds left on the power play and no score. Okay, draw just to the left of Giadani. Controlled by the Raiders, picked up by Rodriguez, gets it over to Valpondo. Valpondo brings it in, deflected high over the net. Pick, picked back up by Whitehouse. Whitehouse controls it, gets it over to Richardson. Scott Richardson has it behind, tries to feed Gilmore. The puck was blocked by Zach McCall, goes high up into the net. We're going to have another faceoff this time to Giadani's left, but the right in the right circle on the stand side of the arena. Okay, draw control by Gilmore. Gilmore gets a shot on net, and Jeff Giordani is up to the task, so we're gonna do it right again, right from the same spot. 0-0, zero, zero, very wide open first period with a few more penalties than I expected. There's been four penalties in the game. Usually we don't get four penalties in an entire North Quincy High Quincy game. It's always a very uh, spirited game played at a very high level uh, with great sportsmanship by both sides. Okay, Gilmore trying to get it in the corner. Still fighting for it. Matt Rodriguez tried to pick it in, but it was thrown the length of the ice by Finn. Rodriguez back down to get it. He's behind the net. Throws it up to Gilmore. Gilmore trying to come down the right-hand boards. Breaks in. Still, still has the puck. Gets through. Slides it in. Great save by Giordani as Gilmore fired it for the top right corner. Giordani threw his arm up and made a fantastic save as that thing was earmarked for the, for the upper right-hand corner. There's another shot high over the net as the Raiders are pressing the Presidents. But here come the Presidents. A forward pass looking for a breakout. Just quite unsuccessful. Gilmore picks it back up. Puck control by the Presidents. That was a great save moments ago by Giordani as Gilmore made a fantastic move. Got in all alone. Looks for the right corner, but Giordani got the glove hand up and just ticked off the end. Great save. All right, President's coming back. Valpondo throws it in on Brundage. Brundage makes a nice save. As now the Presidents are coming back as the game is picked up in intensity here with one minute and 51 seconds left here in the first period as the puck is thrown into the stands and we'll have a tap into the stands rather and we'll have a face off just outside the North Quincy zone. The past two minutes the game, now we're gonna bring it in from where it was where it was shot, it'll be just to the uh, just to the right of the goaltender Brundage as the past two minutes, the intensity level on both teams has picked up and we still have a scoreless tie here with 1.46 left here in the first period. Okay, Kevin Keith, Mark Gilbody and Derek Murphy out there for the Raiders. Coach Sylvia has he has a little bit of a, a line change here, a line markup that he was looking for. He may have a, he's got his number one line out as North's number one line uh, is on the bench right now as they were just out for the power play. So we got Kevin Keith, Mark Gilbody and Derek Murphy out there now. Tries to get it up ahead, does get it up ahead here to Kevin Keith. Keith all by himself, looking for a little help, goes to his right. Taken off the puck by Jake Mullaney, a junior defenseman who made a nice play as Kevin Keith was com coming in all alone, but Jake Mullaney stood him up, took the puck away, and advanced it out of his own. Draw back control by the Presidents. Again, as Kevin Keith tries to get it over to Gilbody, but he was unsuccessful, and here comes the Raiders breaking out. Dumped in. Glenn Ridden and Scott Richardson out there. 50 seconds left in the period. As now the Raiders are controlling the puck down in the end. Paul Ridden has it right now, throws it, but it goes wide to Giordani. Puck still down here in the President's end as the Raiders up uh, four checking strongly, but here comes the President's breaking out, and we got Kevin Keith up high again. They're just missing, he picks it up, but he's just skate, skated off by Joe Valpondo. There was no damage fired in. 
by Jimmy Finn and a nice save by Brundage with 20 seconds left here in the period. There's been a, a, a very big shot advantage by the North Quincy Red Raiders as they have almost 25 shots on net to about 19 for the president. In a very wide open first period here. Okay, here's Quincy breaking in with five seconds left thrown over the corner, thrown in front by McCall. McCall tried to get it in front. There's the buzzer that'll end the period. Got a little pushing and shoving down behind the North Quincy and Jake Mullaney and McCall. No damage done as both teams go to the bench right now. Go to the locker room. We're going to clear the ice. We'll be back for the start of the second period in about 10 minutes of what has been a very, very enjoyable first period here at Quincy Youth Arena. Look forward to seeing you for the start of the second period momentarily. See you in a, I'm gonna Okay, John. Okay, welcome back everybody. This is Bill Graney for Quincy Access TV. We're back here to start the second period of the North Quincy High Quincy uh, North Quincy High Quincy Presidents. Second meeting of the year with 0-0 after one. There's the referee drops the puck to start the second period and we're off and running. V Valentini controls the draw. Shot taken by Derek Murphy high up over Brundage's head. I got a few stats I can fill you in on in a second here, but it'll drop right back in by Brandon Whitehouse and Giordani made the save. Okay here. Quincy High had 10 shots on net. North Quincy High had 15 shots on Giordani, excuse me, in the first period. And uh, he made two or three spectacular saves. Quincy High had 10. Brundage did a nice job. Come up with uh, a big save in the first period also. Here's a nice break by Quincy High as they throw it in. As Kevin Keith threw it in on Brundage, but it went off to the right. And the Red Raiders also controlled the face-offs as they won uh, 10 of the 15 face-offs in the first period. But I'm looking for, uh, it's been a wide open game. I'm looking for it to continue that way. We've played a minute here. They've been just knocking it around in center ice as nobody really has uh, mounted any type of a advantage here to start the second period. The Raiders now do control it as Matt Rodriguez tried to bring it up the right, picked up by Gilmore, Gilmore steers it. He went down, I was looking for a call, but I didn't get one, so I'm sure the ref was right and I was wrong. Puck now back down in the North Quincy end, controlled by Jake Mullaney. He tried to get it up ahead to Gilmore, went by Gilmore, and we have icing. I did talk to Coach Bob Sylvia before the start of the game upstairs here at Quincy Youth Arena. Hadn't talked to him since last year, but I would be remiss if I didn't let the viewers know. This is Bob's 43rd year behind the bench, which I think if I went home and I Googled it, I know it's the longest running high school coach in the state of Massachusetts, probably in New England. But I wouldn't be a bit surprised if Bob was the longest running head high school hockey coach, probably in the United States. And he does a tremendous job with the kids, always has, since, uh, since 1965 in the old Met League. There was a, a great feed into Gilmore. He threw it in, but Giordani, he flipped on, flopped the pads, and made the save as the Raiders here are picking up the intensity a little bit. But here comes the presence picked up by McCall. I'll get back to the coach in a second. McCall throws it in, so we're going to have a whistle. But he, uh, he's done a great job uh, behind that bench. Uh, we're, we're talking now going into his uh, fourth generation. He told me, you know, 
a, a few of his memories back in the old Metropolitan League back in the 60s where North Quincy used to be with Christopher Columbus and Don Bosco High School. Through the Greater Boston League, through the old Connolly League, now the Patriot League. Coach has done a, a, done a great job and is to, to be commended. And when he does decide to hang him up, you know, there should either be a parade or one of the biggest high school banquets to honor this guy when he finally does decide to hang him up because he has done a great job. Did remind me of a few things. Uh, talked fondly of the entire Giordani family. That's the last Giordani you're going to see for a little while in the net right now for, for the presidents. But Coach was telling me how he coached his father, his brothers, a couple of his uncles. Coach also said it's probably the in the top three or four hockey families that have uh, gone through Quincy High School. Very uh, uh, a great family, and Coach was proud to have been associated with all the Giordani's. Okay, puck controlled by the presidents. They throw it back in. As Mark Gilbody threw it on the net, Brundage got the glove up. We get another draw. We've played two and a half minutes. Really not a great deal of uh, activity going on as they're feeling each other out a little bit again here to start the second period. I think the first goal will be, uh, be critical here in this game. Also pick up the intensity. As Quincy tries to swing it around the net, as that was Pat Young, the defenseman who was up. He took the wraparound, tried to jam it under Brundage's leg, but Brundage was up to the task, so we're going to have a draw here just to the right of Brundage. Gilbody, Kevin Keith, and Derek Murphy still out there. O'Brien tried to keep it in. He kidding that we're not going to call icing. Goes the entire length of the ice. As Quincy's on a power play, which uh, I neglected to see, and I apologize for that. I'll see if I can see who's in the box. Uh, that little bit of a flurry down there, I should have picked up on that, and I apologize. But the puck's now knocked back out by the presidents. Gilmore, strong forecheck, and takes it away from O'Brien. O'Brien tries to jam him into the boards, a little bit successful. Hawk picked up by Brandon Whitehouse behind the net. Now picked back up by Kevin Keith. Keith tries to bring it out as we have 20 seconds left. Here's Keith coming through the middle. He's looking for Gilbody. He still has the puck. Gets it over to O'Brien. O'Brien shoots. Goes wide to Brundage's right block aside. It's right stick side, but puck still controlled by the presidents. Here they come out trying to get it up ahead to Gilmore as they are unsuccessful as they tried to tap and go off the boards. But the puck didn't quite have enough juice in it. Here's a shot. By Keith, goes to the right, picked back up by the Raiders, picked up by number four, Brendan Glenn. He tries to bring it in, tries to get it to Gilmore. Gilmore's been out there a little bit. He's trying to get him off now, but he's staying out there. Puck picked up by Kevin Chinette. Chinette, the defenseman, throws it up the boards. Gets it up ahead. To Brandon Whitehouse. Whitehouse tries to throw it out, kept in by Finn. Finn controlling the puck. Poked away by Gilmore as it goes behind the net. Presidents with a little bit going on here. Picked back up right now by Gilmore. He's bringing it up the length of the boards. He loses it. Picked up by Whitehouse. Whitehouse throws it in. The Raiders change up. Presidents try to break out, but they're unsuccessful. We've got Brandon Glenn in on the four check. Puck still in the Raiders end, but here comes McCall. McCall's coming down the right-hand side. Loses it on a nice play by Joe Valpondo, made a nice play to knock it away from McCall. Uh, McCall would have had a two on one with Seamus McKenna. We got a whistle. We've played five minutes here in the second period. The pace is starting to pick up a little bit. And we're gonna have a draw just a Brundage's left. As we got Sean Darling, Seamus McKenna, and Zach McCall out there for the Quincy High Presidents. with Pat Young and Jimmy Finn out there on defense. Chenette, and it looks like Bobby Font, Chenette and Jake Mullaney out there this time as the defensive pair up. Now we're gonna make a change and we got Val Pondo and Fontana going out there along with McLean.
McLean, Richardson, and Nelson. Draw control by Quincy, slides right across in front of Brundage, but there was nobody home to make any type of play. Puck going down, we got icing on the Red Raiders as they dump it down. Derek Graham out there for, for the Red Raiders, along with Mike Nelson. And number two, Brian McLean. Draw just to the right of Brundage. Brundage gets set in the net. Little flick right off the bat by Pat Conley. Nice play by Pat Conley as he anticipated the draw and fired on Brundage. And it was right on net, but Brundage was right up to the task, but a very heads up play by center Pat Conley. Okay, thrown back down, we got icing called again. And we also have a penalty coming up. Penalty on Quincy. We got a slash, his second penalty of the game on TJ Higgins. So the Red Raiders will be going on the power play. We got Whitehouse and Gilmore out there. Rodriguez on the point. Along with Tim Marks, the freshman. Timmy Marks, a freshman out of North Quincy High. No, that's a correction. Uh, Joe Valpondo, he has number 12 on his pants. But I would mention Timmy Marks, an up-and-coming player for the, for the Red Raiders. He's a freshman, made the team as a, uh, as a freshman. Coach had nothing but good things to say about him before the game. Hopes to get him in there for a little action tonight. North Quincy controlling this power play, but we got a penalty coming up. And we got a holding penalty coming up on number 15, Scott Richardson. So that's going to make it four on four. Wipes out the North Quincy High power play. And the Presidents will have a power play for 39 seconds. In, in 51 seconds, they'll have a power play for the final 39 seconds of Richardson's penalty. Four on four here. Gilmore out there with Whitehouse. Mullaney on defense. Puck controlled by nobody. They're trying to dig it out. Broken, taken back out, throw, thrown in by Brandon Whitehouse as he took it out of the took it out of the boards. Came in front. Giordani took a shot at him, but he did throw it wide. Okay, here come the presidents trying to bring it out. And we've got icing as we're playing four on four, so icing has come back into the equation. Brendan Glenn out there. Draw controlled by Brandon Glenn. He brought it in. Giordani was up to the task, so we're going to try it one more time right here. Matt Rodriguez and Joe Valp Valpondo on the point. As Zach McCall tried to run it down there, but he overskated it and went fine, but he picked it back up, threw it high over Brundage's head. We're at the halfway point here of the second period, seven minutes and 50 seconds left. And now the presidents are on a power play for 30 seconds. Pat Young controlling it, trying to get it in front. Takes it behind the net. Point covered by Seamus McKenna. McKenna loses it. Here comes the presidents trying, the Raiders trying to break up. But McKenna makes a nice play as a forward covering on the point. Throws it back in behind Brundage. Seven seconds left on the power play. And it's thrown the length of the ice by Paul Ridden, and that's gonna wrap up the penalty. We're back at five aside, 0-0 zero, zero still here. Seven, 18 sec seven minutes, 18 seconds left here in the second period. Quincy North Quincy High School, always a treat in the city of Quincy when these two teams get together, one cold night in January and one cold night in February. This year we had a bonus game at the beginning of the year dedicated 
dedicated to the memory of Patrick White. It was a great game. North Qu uh, Quincy High won that game 4-3 for, for one of their two wins here in the season. Okay, puck control by, by Seamus McKenna. Gets it over, gets it in front. To Sean Darling, goes behind the net, picked back up. Finn skates in, tries to get it in front. Blocked by one of the Red Raider, Red Raider people and it's thrown into the Quincy High bench. And we're gonna have a draw deep in the president, deep in the Raiders end. Just to the right of goaltender, uh, Matt Brundage. Okay, Quincy has Kevin Keith, Mark Gilbody, and Derek Murphy out there. With Tommy O'Brien and Scott Valentini on the point. No, Joe Finn, uh, Jimmy Finn on the point, excuse me. O'Brien stolen by Finn. Finn tries to throw it in. Brundage kicks it aside. Picked back up by Derek Murphy. Murphy tries to throw it in front. Nobody home. Picked back up by Finn. Finn keeps it in. Puck controlled by Gilmore. Here comes Gilmore. Gilmore trying to get by Finn. Gets by Finn. Moving in. Throws it in on Giordani. Giordani flicks up the glove hand. Makes a nice save. Right there you had two of the premier players going one-on-one. -on -one down, right, down the right boards. As Gilmore bent Finn a little bit. But Finn didn't break. And he took away a lot of the angle, and Gilmore got a, a weaker shot than we expected for him off, and Giordani was up to the task. Both, great play by both players. All right, there's a quick shot on the draw. Giordani again up to the task. Brian McLean out there now, along with Derek Graham. And Mike Nelson, draw control by North. Go, comes out back here where Bobby Fontana threw it back in, but now it comes out of the zone, picked up by the Presidents. Matt Troy, Pat Conley, and TJ Higgins out there right now. Troy controlling it. Try to get it ahead to Conley. Misses connection. Conley picks it back up, brings it outside the zone. And we have a face-off for uh, an offside. Draw just outside in the neutral zone, just outside the Quincy High bench. Draw controlled by the, pre, uh, by the Raiders. Knock it back up. Try to get it up to Glenn. Brendan Glenn can't control it, thrown back in. Down on Brunch. Brunch makes an easy save, but it's picked back up by the Raiders. Here comes the Raiders breaking in. Brendan Glenn tries to get it in front, gets it in front. To Paul Rin, but Paul couldn't put it away. And here comes McCall the other way, coming down the wing, takes it wide. Pushed off the play by Bobby Fontana, but McCall still got it. Gets it in front to 17 to Scott Valentini. Valentini fires. Brundage makes the glove save. Scott Valentini, very offensive-minded defenseman. Captain of uh, this year's, one of the captains on the Presidents this year. Scott's older brother was also at the... Uh, also a captain for the Presidents, and he was on that Quincy High hockey team that went to the state finals a few years back. Both brothers represent the Quincy High program very well. All right, draw controlled by the Presidents. They're down there in the Raiders zone. Get it over to Seamus McKenna. McKenna tries to get it in front. Knocked away by... Knocked away by Jake Mullaney on defense. Gets it again, Mullaney. Bangs it up. Whitehouse bangs it in, trying to get around Finn. Finn taking off the angle. Nice play by Finn. Gets it in front to Gilmore. Gilmore gets it over to Rodriguez. And we got the first goal of the game. A little passing clinic put on by <laughs> that line. I'm sure we're going to get another peek at it in a second. Oh. We're having a little trouble with the uh, replay machine, so we won't get another peek at it. But it was a great goal. Scored by number eight, Matty Rodriguez from Gilmore and Whitehouse. Just a great job of passing by that line. And the Raiders have jumped on top 1-0 with four minutes and 18 seconds left here in the period. President's coming right back. There was... Kevin Keith 
Shot it in on Brundage. Brundage put the pad down and just pushed it off to the side. O'Brien trying to throw it back down. Throws it back down. Keith trying to get it behind the net. Trying to get it to Murphy or Gilbody. Gets it over to Valentini. Valentini throws it right in. O'Brien. O'Brien takes it from the point. Here comes the Raiders again. This is Gilmore again. Stops and fires high as it deflects off Tommy O'Brien's stick and goes high up into the net. And we have a... And we have a face-off to the right of Giordani. Right now the shots on net stand at 24-24 with three minutes, 44 seconds left here in the second period. Draw controlled by the Raiders, but taken away by Finn. Finn with it behind the net, kicks it up the boards to himself. Takes a peek, decides to retreat. Strong four checking by number two, Brian McLean. Heads up play by Jimmy Finn. Stolen by McLean, gets it in front again. We got another goal. We got a Quincy High goal. Tenacious four checking by Brendan Glenn. Goal scored by number 10, Mark Nelson. As Brendan Glenn just kept at it, kept at it. Four checking very strongly behind the net was a, was a pest. The puck came loose. He threw it out in front to Mike Nelson. Nelson put it in the net as Giordani didn't see it. Slid under his pads and it's 2-0 now, North Quincy as they scored two goals in it looks like about a minute and a half. Uh, and I expect the intensity of this game to pick up a little bit now on the president's end. Puck stolen by Seamus McKenney, throws it in on Brundage. Brundage makes the save. O'Brien with the puck as the puck is controlled now by the president's deep in the North Quincy end. Sean Dowling kicking it along the boards, trying to get a face off, but he's unsuccessful. Puck stolen by Gilmore. Gilmore dumps it in. Rodriguez, Brandon Gilmore, Brandon, Matty Rodriguez and Brandon Whitehouse out there now for the, for the Red Raiders. As they've turned up the intensity a little bit also and we got a two nothing game now. Puck control behind the net. Rodriguez pins Val Valentini, but Valentini knocks it out, gets it up to Sean McKenna. Sean McKenna dumps it up as the president's change. Puck stolen. Stolen by Derek Murphy as he went in, but he just couldn't get a shot off. As we got Kevin Keith, Mark Gilbody, and Murphy back out there. Two minutes left here in the period, as I'm sure the presidents would like to put one in the put one in the net and go into that locker room, only down one. Puck stolen by Gilbody. Here he comes, but there's four North Quincy. Red Raid is waiting for him right there. Puck picked up by Valentini. Very offensive-minded defense and throws it right in front. Try to kick it in, but Brundage, Matt Brundage up to the task and we're gonna have another face-off. Keith Gilbody and Derek Murphy had a great shift there, along with some heads-up play at the point by Scott Valentini. One minute, 44 seconds left. Red Raid is two. Quincy President's nothing here in the second period. Both players waved out on the draw. McCall goes in now for the Raiders. Scott Richardson for McCall for the President, Scott Richardson for the Raiders. Draw control by Quincy, Finn has it. Finn looking around. Gets it to Seamus McKenna, but it's knocked out of the zone. Tapped into the Quincy high end by Scott Richardson. Puck now behind the net. Richardson going in a four check. Brendan Glidden ran it out there with him. McCall throws it out the back. Richardson picks it back up, takes it in front, tries to throw it at the net, but it goes up high over the net. Number seven, Paul Ridden, one of the other captains on the Raiders. Tried to keep it in, but he couldn't keep it in. Throws it back out in the neutral zone where it's picked up by Bobby Fontana. Bobby, went, Bobby quickly dumps it back into the Quincy end. North Quincy High picked up the intensity here in the last five minutes of the period and, and scored two quick goals with the Presidents uh, trying to mount an attack. There's a nice play by McKenna.
gets a shot, but Brundage is up to the task and kicks it high up into the net. 42 seconds left here in the period. 2-0, Quincy, uh, North Quincy High Red Raiders over the Quincy High Presidents. Gilmore, Matt Rodriguez, and Brandon Whitehouse out there. For the Raiders, Mark Gilbody, Derek Murphy, and Kevin Keith out there for the present. Puck controlled. Puck controlled by the by the president. Tried to get knocked back out, but Tommy O'Brien kept it in, and now he loses it. Puck picked up by, by Rodriguez. He tries to keep it in, but he loses it. 18 seconds left. McCall trying to mount a rush, and he's pulled down. With 13 seconds left in the period, he was pulled down. We got a penalty coming up for tripping. I'll give you the, I'll give you the play momentarily. Brandon Whitehouse. There could be a heads-up play though by Brandon, as he uh, Zach McCall had a full head of steam, and looked like he was about to turn the corner on him with only 13 seconds left in a split power play. That may have been a, may have been a good penalty for the Red Raiders. One that coach won't be too upset with. Okay, four seconds left. Here's the final shot of the period. Goes off to the right. There's the buzzer. Ending the second period. So we've played two here at Quincy Youth Arena. The North Quincy Red Raiders are ahead two to nothing. We're gonna clean the ice. We're gonna talk to a few people. We'll be back with some thoughts just before the start of the third period. Okay, everybody, welcome back. We're just getting ready for the start of the third period here at Quincy Youth Arena with the Red Raiders ahead of the Quincy Patriots, Quincy Presidents, excuse me, two to nothing. I think I've got a, we're gonna open up with a quick look at North Quincy High's first goal. All right, here it was, their first goal as Whitehouse took it over in the corner, got it over to Gilmore. Gilmore fed a perfect pass to Rodriguez. And as you look at it, Matty put it right in there. Giordani never really had a chance. Uh, it was a great uh, passing connection by that line. All right, we've opened up the third period. Draw was controlled by the Presidents. They're on the power play for just about a minute. So if they could throw one in, in the net right now, we'd have a, we're still going to have a great third period, but um, we, they got to get the first one before they can get the second one. So let's see what they can do here on the power play. Okay, Murphy, Gilbody, and Kevin Keith out there on the power play. Brian McLean out there to kill the penalty along with Brandon Gilmore. Brandon Gilmore steals the puck. He's bringing it up the right boards, holds it along the boards. Now he just elects to throw it in. Heads up play as Brian McLean goes in to do the forechecking. Okay, here comes Kevin Keith. Kevin Keith coming up along the boards looking for Gilbody. Tries to get over to Murphy. But the presidents are going to change up. Puck controlled by Finn. Finn throws it in behind Brundage. Brundage picks it up. Throws it up the length of the boards himself. As the penalty is now over. And we're playing five aside here in the third period. We've almost played two minutes. Here in the third. Presidents trying to get, trying to get the first one. As they're working really hard. But here come the Raiders, they bring it down the length of the ice. That was Scott Richardson who carried it in, but now it bangs back out where it's picked up by Zach McCall. McCall drops it, looking for Sean Darling, but Darling couldn't make the connection. Knocked back out into the neutral zone and thrown down, and we've got an icing. 13.05 left here in the third period. 2-0, North Quincy Red Raiders. Both teams playing hard, playing strong. We had three or four penalties in the first period, which as I said earlier, is kind of uncharacteristic of both of these teams. But this game, this settled right down at the start of the uh, second period, and it's been a very well-played game uh, since then. Okay, 
Puck controlled by the president as they throw it back in, try to keep it in the zone, but they're unsuccessful. Now Gilbody banging along the boards with Brandon Whitehouse, so we're back out in the neutral zone. Gilmore moving in, Whitehouse gets a hold of it, comes in, fires. Giordani sticks the leg out, kicks it over into the right-hand corner. Nice save by Jeff Giordani as uh, he's holding the president in, in the game right now as he's come up with three or four saves of the spectacular variety here in this game. Nice shot on, right in on net by Kevin Keith, but Brundage makes the save. Finn can't keep it. O'Brien can't keep it and gets it over to Finn. Finn dumps it back in as they clear the zone. President's changing up. Sending out Pat Conley, TJ Higgins, and Matty Troy. As Puck's picked up by Finn behind the net as he tries to get it out of the zone, gets it out of the zone to Troy. Troy looking to get it to Conley. Pass goes behind Conley's back as he can't control it. Stolen by Whitehouse. Whitehouse gets it to Gilmore. Gilmore brings it in the corner. Feeds it in front to Brandon Whitehouse. Giordani puts the flappers down. He's a great leg man as he spreads, spreads those two big pads like a set of wings. And he's very aggressive in front of that net. doing a heck of a job. Okay, draw coming just to the right of Giordani. McLean, Graham, and Nelson out there for the Presidents. For the Raiders, rather. Mulaney and Chenette on defense. Puck thrown behind Giordani. Kicking it along the boards is O'Brien. O'Brien gets it over to Finn. Finn's lugging it out. Here comes Jimmy Finn. Breaks through center ice. Gets it up ahead to Seamus McKenna. McKenna tries to take it along the boards, but he's pushed to the side. But McCall comes from behind the net. Puts a nice check on Mike Nelson, but the puck comes outside the zone. Pick back up as the presidents dump it in. All the presidents get out of the zone. Picked up by, by McKenna. Seamus McKenna throws it back in. Brundage up to the task. Throws it behind the net where it's picked up by Jimmy Mullaney. Jimmy Mullaney trying to get it ahead to Mike Nelson. They can't make the connection. Thrown back in the North Quincy zone, but it's pushed out by Chenette. Chenette gets it ahead to Brian McLean. McLean breaking in as he tries to go by Pat, Tom O'Brien, by, by Pat Young rather, but Pat Young pushes him aside and controls the play. But the puck gets thrown in front of the Quincy high net. Giordani covers, and we're going to have a faceoff. Nice play right there by Pat Young on defense for the for the presidents as he just pushed Brian McLean, uh, McLean off into the corner no damage done nice heads up play by Young okay draw again controlled by the presidents Gil uh, Kevin Keith tries to get it to Gilboy that can't make the connection it turns out to be an icing Kevin Keith, Mark Gilbody, and Derek Murphy out there with Mullaney and Pat, uh, not Mullaney, with Valentini and Pat Young on defense. As I said earlier, the, uh, the Red Raiders are undefeated in league play. They're 3-0-1. Oh, Quincy is 1-3 in league play. Puck controlled by the president. As Gilbrody brought it down, picked the spot, but Brundage was up to the task. Still plenty of, uh, plenty of time left, 10 minutes and 15 seconds, plus plenty of time left still in the season. A lot of games left for both teams uh, as their goal, the goal for both teams, all, as always, is to make the state tournament. Uh, both of them have that vision and they have it in their sights. Okay, draw control by the presence throw it back in Mullaney picks it up being forechecked by Zach McCall Mullaney gets it kicks it up along the boards picked up by Rodriguez Rodriguez gets it out to Brandon Whitehouse Whitehouse tries to split Finn and Valentini but he just can't quite make it as Valentini takes the puck away and throws it off to the right hand side great aggressive forecheck though by Rodriguez as the president's having a tough time get it out they finally get it out Jake Mullaney with the puck, throws it into the right-hand corner. Picked up by Finn behind the net. Finn throws it up along the boards, looking for Pat Conley. Couldn't make the connection. 
Goes over along the left wing boards. Thrown in front, nice save again as it was stolen. As the puck was stolen by the president. Brought back in, but Giordani was up to the task. Threw up the legs and made a nice save on Scott Richardson. Scott and Trevor are brothers on this team. Both hard-working young men. Okay, draw controlled by the presidents. Finn tries to get it out, loses it. Thrown back in front. Almost knocked in by Derek, by Derek Graham as he just misses on a connection. President's having a difficult time getting it, trying to get it out of their end. Matt Troy with it, throws it up along the boards. Trying to get it up to Tommy O'Brien, but he can't, get, uh, can't make a connection. Still trying to get it out. Finn with the puck behind the net. Gets it over, headmans it up to Pat Conley. Conley trying to bring it and picked up by T.J. Higgins. Higgins throws it in on Brundage. Conley gets it behind the net, gets it over to Troy. Troy can't make the connection back to T.J. Higgins just in front of the net. Puck picked back up by Pat Conley. Nice job on the pack on the back check by Conley as he takes it away, throws it back into the Presidents, back into the Raiders end as the Presidents change up. Puck goes down, we're gonna have an icing. We have a whistle and we'll have a face off down here in the North Quincy end. Eight minutes, 18 seconds left here in the third period. The Raiders holding on to a two nothing lead. But still, as I said, still plenty of time left in this game for Quincy's offense to mount an attack. Okay, draw control by the presidents, but lost. Knocked out of the zone by Brandon Whitehouse. Whitehouse plays it along the boards. Valentini picks it back. Throws it back into the North Quincy again where Brundage taps it. Brundage gets it over to Kevin Chenette. Chenette throws it up along the boards where it's kept in by Pat Young. Pat Young throws it behind the net. Kevin Keith trying to get it out in front. Gets it to McCall. Gets it to Derek Murphy. Murphy takes a shot but can't make the connection. Puck kept in by Valentini. Valentini throws it up along the boards. Kevin Keith Gilbody and Derek Murphy working hard here trying to get a trying to get the first goal for the presidents to get them back in the game. Puck kept in by Young. Young throws it back over to Derek Murphy. Murphy coming in, looks for the shot. Way high up over the net. Good play by Murphy, but he just couldn't quite pull the trigger. Pulled the trigger, but shot it a little high. Puck thrown back out into the neutral zone. Brandon Whitehouse picking up. <laughs> the four check, but it's stolen back by the Presidents. Here come the Presidents back in. Gilbody trying to get a hold of it. Couldn't get it over to Keith. Kept back in though here. Back over to Finn. Finn looking to make a shot. Can't. Get to the Gilbody. Gilbody lets it go by to Kevin Keith. Keith throws it in front of Murphy. Murphy tries to tap it in. Just misdirects it a little bit to the right. Good scoring opportunity there by both Kevin Keith and Derek Murphy. We got a uh, penalty coming up on... Uh, North Quincy, Giordani skates out of the uh, net, puck controlled by Jake Mullaney and will have the whistle. We've got the captain, Brandon Gilmore, going off uh, for interference. So the presidents are gonna get a power play with 6.41 left. Good scoring opportunity, potential scoring opportunity here. Okay, Finn throws it in. Seamus McKenna, Conley, and, uh, and Zach McCall. Pat Conley out there uh, for this shift with McKenna and McCall. Okay, puck controlled by the presence as they try to break it out. Gets it ahead here. Seamus McKenna keeps it, gets it over, back to McKenna. They're looking to set up to try to get a shot on net. That picked up by Conley, Conley feeds it in. Great save by Brundage on a great shot by McCall. We got another penalty coming up though. Looks like it's against Quincy, it's gonna even this up. We got Seamus McKenna going out for holding, so we're gonna play four aside. 
for the next 52 seconds. Then the Raiders will be going on the power play. Six minutes, three seconds left. Two nothing, North Quincy Red Raiders. Here at Quincy Youth Arena, second meeting for these teams. Second meeting out of three this year. We have a bonus game this year. They're gonna meet three times this year. So we'll be back in February to call that one too. Okay, puck controlled by Quincy. Quincy throws it in, knocked out by the Presidents. Scott Richardson forecheck and loses it. Picked up by Valentini. Valentini gets it over. Gets it over to Mark Gilbody. Mark Gilbody got off the shot, but it was a little high. Brundage was able to put the blocker up and knock it aside. No, put the glove hand up and grab it. So we got a face off just to the right. Zach McCall out there with Derek Murphy. McCall and Murphy. Gets the puck in, almost stolen away, almost banged away, but Quincy picks it back up. Nice shot on net by Murphy, but Brundage again up to the task as Quincy has picked up the pace now and taken the, taken the lead in shots on goal with 38 shots to North Quincy High's 34. Five minutes, 21 seconds left here in the game. Draw controlled by nobody yet. Stolen away by the president. Taken by Gilbody. Gilbody tries to get it in front. Loses his balance, can't get the shot off. Puck controlled by the Raiders. Tried to uh, handle it to Gilmore, getting him out there as he was coming out of the box. They almost made the connection. They did get it back to Joe Valpondo. Valpondo got a shot on net, but Giordani was up to the task. The Raiders are now on the power play for 25 more seconds. Five minutes, four minutes, 58 seconds left here in the game. Two nothing Red Raiders. Draw controlled by the, the Red Raiders. No, not controlled by Quincy. Finn tries to get it out, throws it out along the other dasher, but he can't get it out. It's kept in by Rodriguez. Rodriguez just gets a shot on net. Gets it, original stop by Giordani, but it was picked up. I'm not quite sure by whom. Might have been Gilmore. Looked like Brandon Gilmore picked it up off a great save originally by Giordani, but lost control in front of the net and Gil Gilmore was there to pick it up. Okay, let's take another peek at it as we're gonna get it right here. All right, there's Rodriguez, he fires it in. Picked up the rebound by Gilmore right there in front and he bangs it home. Brandon Gilmore, that's his uh, 11th goal of the season. He leads the Patriot League with 18 points. Uh, now 19 points, uh, now 20 points as he's got a goal and an assist tonight. Three nothing, Red Raiders, 429 left here in the period. Puck controlled by Pat Conley. Throws it up along the wing boards. Pushed into the boards on a nice check by Kevin Chenette. Conley back up, four check and takes the puck away. Good hustle and determination on the part of Pat Conley. Now behind the net, it's Gilbody with the puck. No, Kevin Keith trying to get it in front. Pat Conley with it, trying to get a shot off. Does get a shot off. Brundage makes the save. Conley now out there with, with uh, Gilbody. Made a nice play, got a shot off on net, but they couldn't quite knock it home. Derek Murphy out there now with Zach McCall and Sean Darling as, as Coach Bob Sylvia is shaking up his lines a little bit here in the last few minutes of this third period to see if he can generate some offensive action. Okay, puck control by the Raiders. Gilmore trying to get it out of the zone, gets it up to Rodriguez. Rodriguez can't quite get it out. Now the puck stolen by Gilmore. He's got a semi breakaway, now he's moving in, there he goes. He's taken down on a good penalty by the Presidents. All right, now we're gonna have a second penalty. 
Looks like on the Red Raiders. So we got Zach McCall going in for pulling down Brendan Gilmore. Raiders would have had a power play, but Matt Rodriguez got a little rambunctious in front of the net, banged it into the open net. I think they're going to call him for delay a game, so we're going to play five aside as we have matching penalties to Matty Rodriguez and Zach McCall. 3.27 left, 3-0, North Quincy Red Raiders. As the presidents are reaching down and attempting to try to get on the scoreboard. Puck controlled by Scott Richardson. Richardson gets it in front. We got a goal by the Raiders. Another goal by Gilmore, so that's his second. He increases his league in the Patriot League. Here's the replay coming up. Let's take another look at it. Okay, Whitehouse gets it right out in front, bangs it. Gets it over to Gilmore. Gilmore gives Giordani a little head fake. Gilmore, one of the premier players in this league, and he's demonstrating that tonight. Okay, draw control. By the Red Raiders, Mullaney with the puck. Tries to get it ahead. Evan Virchall out there right now. Along with number five, Vinnie Cameron. And number 18, Trevor Richardson. So coach did, Coach Carletti did say before the game that he was gonna try to get this line a little bit of ice time and he's, uh, He's got him on a, at least one shift each period. This is a young line, Cameron, Verhalt, uh, and Graham. And Trevor Richardson out there right now for the Red Raiders. As they're controlling the puck, hard check. Hard check by Nick Scabilio, who is out there for a, for a shift now. Bobby Keslowski's a sophomore defenseman out there getting a little ice time. Two minutes, 17 seconds left here. Four nothing, North Quincy Red Raiders. As this looks like, this will even the series at one game apiece. So I'll be looking forward to a great game when they meet again in February. Okay, draw control by the president. Gilbody with the puck. Picked up by Derek Murphy. Murphy throws it to John McNulty. McNulty keeps it in. Gets it up ahead, looking for Bobby Kozlowski. Kozlowski couldn't quite get a stick on it. McNulty back over to Kozlowski. Kozlowski thro throws it over to Derek Murphy. Murphy can't control it. Puck the picked up by Mike Nelson. He throws it in on Giordani. Giordani covers it with one minute, 42 second, seconds left here in the third period. I'd like to take a minute to thank uh, Martin, Martin Dunham, who did my stats for me, my shots on net, things like that. He did a great job. I hope I'm going to have him here for the next game also. Thanks, Martin. Great job. Okay, draw control by the Presidents. Bringing it down along the boards. Matt Troy. Troy tries to set, does center it. Get to the Sokolsky. He couldn't quite get to Pat Young, rather. Young fired high over Brundage's head. 122 left here in the period. Puck controlled by Kevin Chinette. Chinette trying to get it up ahead. And it goes into the North Quincy bench. 115 left here. Ryan Gorman out there on defense. Got a lot of ice time. Vinnie Cameron back out there with Evan Verhalt and Derek Graham. Just a young line that Coach Carletti's trying to work in. Puck picked up by Trevor Richardson. That's Richardson with Verhalt and Cameron, sorry. 
Puck stolen away by by Finn. He tries to bang it in. Gets it to Gilbody. Kevin Keith rather. Kevin Keith loses loses it. Throws it back in where it's picked up by Joe Valpondo. He throws it down into the Quincy zone. 38 seconds left in this game, which as North Quincy, le as North Quincy leads this game four to not, that is not truly indicative of the play. Uh, Quincy High worked very hard. Just was a little snake bitten tonight. 18 seconds left in the period as Kevin Keith tries to control it. Thrown back in by Mike Nelson. Gets it over to Finn. Eight seconds left. Finn trying to bring it all the way in. Can. Three, two, one. There's the buzzer. And that'll end this game as the North Quincy Red Raiders even this series at one game apiece with a 4-0 victory tonight here at Quincy Youth Arena before a pretty good crowd. Final shots on net were a Quincy 41, North Quincy 40. But as I look at it, and as I watch him file out, we were pretty much filled up here, which is uh, an indication of the support by both student bodies, both of the North Quincy High Red Raiders and the Quincy High Presidents, parents, friends, family. Uh, they always come out for a, when these two teams get together. They did a great job. So I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to call it the night. Again, this is Bill Graney for Quincy Access TV Sports. Final score for the final time, the North Quincy Red Raiders 4, the Quincy President 0. See you for the next game.